You know, a Kansas agriculture assessment conducted this year shows more than half of the far farm jobs in the Sunflower State are going unfilled. Now at a nursery in Ottawa, Kansas, Lindsay Eastman says she has acres of cropland left unplanted because she simply can't find enough workers. She's part of the American Business Immigration Coalition, which is seeking passage of a U.S. Senate bill that would help solve agriculture labor shortages by making it easier for farms to bring in immigrant labor with temporary agricultural workers' visas. I think what can happen when farmers aren't certain in their workforce, they're not able to grow their business. They're not able to plant more crops because we're afraid we won't be able to get those harvested. And crops that go unharvested do raise prices for consumers at the grocery store. Yeah, now a study at Texas A&M University says bolstering the farm workforce will help curb inflation and rising consumer prices for groceries. Some Kansas dairy farmers are even calling for permanent legal immigration with a potential path towards citizenship for immigrant farm workers who make their families part of rural communities year round. You know, food security is becoming a more important concern because according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, next year, for the first time in American history, our nation will import more farm products than it exports. Carrie, Pat. Yeah, it's a staggering uh, mm -hmm. statistic there. Okay, John Pepitone live at the American Royal.